Welcome everybody again to Drinks and a Movie. Today I'll be discussing Krampus, the horror Christmas movie, and we'll be making eggnog from scratch with bourbon. Yes, the secret ingredient. Okay, so let's start with the drink, because you can always start with the drink. Uh, we'll start making eggnog from scratch. Eggnog is three eggs. Well, I'm going to half the recipe. So three eggs, uh, a cup of milk, some sugar and some vanilla and then topped off with uh, a little shaving of cinnamon so let's start with the eggs look at this one hand and a little shell we'll try one hand again and see if it works out better yeah, a little better and one more oh. and some shell just uh, take that out of there. All right, let's whisk that up. Whisk it up, whisking is fun. Now, I want to remind everybody, I'm not going to be in the kitchen every time I do this, but I thought it'd be fun to make some eggnog out of scratch and uh, put a little bourbon in it and then talk about Krampus. All right, got that all whisked up. Now, a little bit of milk. I said one cup, but we'll just eyeball it. There we go. Eyeballing the milk, whip that up. A little bit of sugar. One, two, three, four, why not? Because I'm not driving. All right, and a little bit of vanilla. All right, cool. Vanilla's in there. We'll whisk that up. And now the secret ingredient, bourbon. One for me. Cheers, everybody. And one for the eggnog. Oh, who am I kidding? This is the way you do a secret ingredient. All right. Some people call this eggnog with bourbon. I call this bourbon with eggnog. Let's whip this up. Looks good. Alright, so the last thing we do is heat this for a little while. I'm going to put it in my already heated a little bit pan. Oh my god, did everybody hear that? Yeah, it's way too heated. I think I'm going to have scrambled eggs in a second. <laughs> scrambled eggs. Okay, so while that's heating up, let's talk about Krampus. Put the rest of that in there. Krampus is directed by Michael Dory, who uh, directed a movie a little while ago called Trick or Treat. It was a really good, underseen, underappreciated uh, Halloween horror movie that happened a couple years ago. Directed by him, starring Adam Scott, um, David Kettner, and one other, Tony Collette. Forgot about Tony Collette. I love Tony Collette. Six Sense. She's awesome. So, uh, this movie is about Krampus, who is the uh, dark side of, of Christmas. It's the, uh, the bizarro Santa. And he comes when you're just not acting right. And the movie starts out with uh, this really, I want to say exaggerated, but I saw people actually fighting on, on Black Friday. So, this uh, scene of people shopping on Black Friday and pushing and shoving and the security getting involved. And then it cuts to the family and this little boy who's still writing to Santa. He's like 12 years old, really adorable kid, really good actor too, and I think this is his first movie. Uh, it cuts to him and he's, you know, still writing his letter uh, and dad's, of course, not paying attention to him. Mom's trying to get ready for, for uh, family guests to come and she's just not, you know, not paying attention to him either. Uh, the, the family comes, uh, David Kettner is the quintessential you know cousin Eddie of the story from Christmas Vacation and he's he's fine he serves his purpose I normally don't like him as an actor because I think he just plays the same guy over and over and over again and he's just he's a little annoying but he's fine in this he's good in this and they all show up in the 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 cousin Eddie family who's just not uh, not not nice, not, not not respectful to the hosts, and everybody starts getting in fights, and it's it's a little cliche. Um, 
and then the kid loses all hope and he rips up his Santa letter and throws it into the sky and I guess that gets the attention of Krampus. Now uh, Krampus is, like I said, Bizarro Santa. It's not like, you know, a dark Santa, I guess. I mean, that's how you'd, you'd describe him. He uh, shows up and there's a couple things I really liked about this movie. The practical effects. I mean, everybody's in, like, all, all of Krampus's minions are costumes and, and actual things you can touch. Not a lot of CGI, just a little bit with the gingerbread men. Um, and that, all that stuff's really good. The first time Krampus shows up, it's a great scene. You see him on the roof and he's this huge, you know, goat man. And it's really kind of unnerving. It gives out this howl and he's jumping from roof to roof. And it's a really great scene. And then the movie kind of dies down a bit. Um, it loses its steam. Um, I, I, I wonder if they were restrained by, uh, by budget and by... Um, by the fact that they're trying to stick to a PG-13 rating. Uh, I, I, I go back and forth on that. I, ho I, I, I sort of wish that they would have like gone you know, full R, R rating uh, but at the same time. I get that this is kind of a dark fairy tale and they try to stay within that PG-13 dark fairy tale realm. Um, but it just seemed like they were you know, handcuffed by, by both of those things. Uh, the movie slowed down a bit, but then it, it picked back up. It kind of goes in hills and valleys. Um, uh, the, the, the most thing you see in this is, is, uh, is Krampus's minions, which are actually kind of disturbing and scary. There's this one that, it's this huge jack-in-the-box that you kind of see in the trailer a little bit, and his mouth splits open, and he eats kids, and he's kind of bulbous. It sort of reminded me of the, uh, the alien queen from Aliens. It's just kind of gross, and the sound effects are awful. Um, that bit is is pretty good, uh, and and then it and then it dies down again, and it kind of gets a little boring, a little. And I wanted something to happen, uh, and it and it did. All in all, uh, I liked it. Um, oh, uh, one other thing that I loved, I loved the production design of this movie. It's very uh, confining, and there's 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 bits where there's places where Krampus has been, and it's all frozen over, and there's icicles, and there's um, like I said, all the minions are practical and, uh, and like puppets and, uh, you know, a lot of that stuff I loved. It just, there's something missing. There's something that wasn't there that needed to be there to make it really good. I mean, it's, it wasn't a bad movie. It just was kind of, uh, all right. I mean, yeah, that's good. And the ending uh, was a little, a little odd, but, uh, all in all, um, I think my eggnog is, uh, is, uh, actually ready to go back in the fridge. Uh, all in all, it was just okay. Uh, I would give it, uh, I'm putting it back in here so I can put this in the fridge so it can cool. Um, all in all, it was just okay. I think, um, I think you'd have fun. I think you'd have fun with it. Um, it just, it was a little, I don't know, uh, lackluster for me. I was I was hoping for more. I, I, I like the trailers, I like the director, and I was just hoping for little cinnamon. Little cinnamon. That's all you need. All you need to have a good drink. Anyway, um yeah. I was hoping for more for more. It, it's not bad, it just it kinda of fell short for me. Um check it out. You may like it. I don't know. Um I I'm put this in the fridge real quick and by the magic of TV once again look at this eggnog already ready already made um, cheers everybody check it out you might like it I'm giving it uh, three and a half three and a half drinks out of five it's okay but it could have been better um, Check it out if you want. Um, and hey, this is something I haven't been doing, but if you like my channel, please subscribe down at the bottom. Make comments. Let me know what your favorite Christmas scary movie is. Um, I think mine's Gremlins. Uh, so uh, let me know. Make some comments. We'll have a discussion. I will respond. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Cheers, everybody. Have a drink on me. Merry Christmas, and we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.